Hi everyone, it's Jeff here from Avada. In this video, I will show you how to use Z-Index, or Z-Index if you prefer, in Avada. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos like this one. And if you don't want to miss one, click the bell icon to get notifications of all new videos on our channel. OK, let's begin. Z-Index is a CSS property that controls overlapping HTML element stacking order. With this property, Elements with a higher index are placed on top of those with a lower one. In Avada, you will find a Z-index option in all containers and columns, as well as in a few other specific elements, like the image, pagination, and scroll progress elements, as well as off canvases. When you will need to use it will depend on your setup, but let me just demonstrate with a few examples. Here I have two images in a column, and I have overlapped them by manipulating the margin values on the second image. The later in the DOM, the higher the image is stacking, and so the second one is above the first. But with a Z-index value, I can decide which image should be on top. So if I go to the first image and on the Design tab, set a Z-index of say 100, it's now on top. How high you need to set the number will depend on how many elements there are on the page. Theoretically, it might even work with a value of 1, but I like to work in values of 100. Here's another example of two columns side by side with a scale effect on rollover. We always want the one that scales to be on top, so here a z-index has been set on the normal state of each column, and a higher z-index has been set on the hover state. So whenever we hover over a column, it grows, and it's always on top as the z-index is higher for that state. Menus are another common example where a z-index can really come in handy. This could be a sticky menu, a mobile menu, a drop-down sub-menu, or mega-menus. In all these situations, we want the menus to be on top. If I look at the header layout section for this site, and edit the container holding the menu, we can see that a high z-index has been set here, to ensure the mega-menus in this container stay above any other content. Just remember to set the z-index value on the container holding the menu, not the column. There is no specific way to use the z-index values. Here the designer just used a very high number to make sure it was above everything else. In this specific case, anything over 10 would have worked. I like to use numbers in increments of 100, so there are plenty of values in between if I later find I have found something else I need to add a z-index to. Another example of when you should use a high z-index is off canvases. Whether they are sliding bars or pop-ups, you will always want them above everything else. They already have a default z-index, so usually you won't need to set one but the option is there if needed. This might be the case if there were multiple off canvases, or you had a sticky header, etc. also trying to be on top. OK, I hope you can see that Z-Index is less complicated than it might seem. Experiment with it and see how you go. It's a very useful property for any content that overlaps on the screen. OK, this concludes our video on how to use Z-Index in Avada. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos. And if you have any questions or need assistance, Please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.